Welcome, everyone, to Friday Night Young at Heart. I'm Father James DeLucio, and tonight I have two poems to help us get in that Christmas spirit in the midst of Advent, for after all, this weekend is Gaudaute Sunday, a joyful Sunday because it's the third Sunday of Advent and Christmas is getting closer. So what I have for you are two poems, as I've already said, by two women poets, two American women by Jove, by Jeeve, Again, from the Children's Verse in America, an Oxford book anthology. This one is by Edith M. Thomas. She lived from 1854 to 1925, and she clearly is building on the Clement C. Moore poem, The Night Before Christmas, but she's writing quite after uh, this popular poem came out. And she wants, to, wants us to consider not old Saint Nick, but she wants us to consider Mrs. Mrs. Chris Kringle. And here's her poem, titled Mrs. Chris Kringle. Oh, I laugh to hear what grown folk tell the young folk of Chris Kringle in the Northland where unknown folk love to feel the frost wind tingle. Yes, I laugh to hear the grown folk tell you young folk how Chris Kringle travels round the world like lone folk, none to talk with, always single. Would a grim and grave old fellow, not a chick nor child to care for, keep a heart so warm and mellow? that all the children he'd prepare for? Do you think, my little maiden, he could ever guess your wishes? Or I should read that differently. Do you think, my little maiden, he could ever guess your wishes? I mispronounced guess. I said guessed. Do you think, my little maiden, he could ever guess your wishes, that you'd find your stocking laden with a doll and set of dishes. No! The truth is, someone whispers in the ear he hears the best with, what to suit the youngest lispers, boys and girls, and all the rest with. Someone, ah, uh, you guess in vain, dear, nestled close by old Chris Kringle, laughs to see the prancing reindeer, laughs to hear the sledge bells jingle. Dear old lady, small and rosy, in the nipping Christmas weather, nestled close, so warm and cozy, these two chat for hours together. So, if I were in your places, Rob and Hal and Kate and Mary, I would be in the good graces of this lovely shy old fairy. Still I laugh to hear the grown folk tell the young folk how Kris Kringle travels round the world like lone folk, none to talk with, always single. So there, it's Mrs. Claus, it's Mrs. Kris Kringle who gets the, the news about what toys to bring to each of the girls and boys. So there, I don't know if if Edith Thomas was responsible for more of the Mrs. Santa Claus legends or not. There's no footnotes in this. I'll have to investigate. The second poem is a Christmas folk song, and it was written by Lisette Woodworth Reese. She lived from 1856 to 1935. Now, here... Well, I'll read it to you first, and then I have a little commentary. 
It's called A Christmas Folk Song. I, I just told you that. The little Jesus came to town. The wind blew up. The wind blew down. Out in the street, the wind was bold. Now, who would house him from the cold? Then opened wide a stable door. Fair were the rushes on the floor. The ox put forth a horned head. Come, little lord, here, make thy bed. Up rose the sheep, were folded near. Thou, Lamb of God, come, enter here. He entered there to rush and read who was the Lamb of God indeed. The little Jesus came to town with ox and sheep. He laid him down. Peace to the buyer, peace to the fold for that they housed him from the cold. That's it. <laughs> I could read that last sentence again. Wanted to get a little different emphasis. The little Jesus came to town with ox and sheep. He laid him down, peace to the buyer, peace to the fold, for that they housed him from the cold. Better got to emphasize that word they did it they did it they did it now this should remind you of a popular christmas carol that carol is called the friendly beasts or also known as the animals christmas carol which came first <clears throat> well lizette woodworth reese lived in the 19th and into the 20th century 1935 she left this world to go on to heaven well the truth is it was not she who had this thought the animals Christmas Carol or the friendly beasts goes back to the 12th century in France yes it does and it was set to a Latin chant and it carried over the centuries from the 12th century right down to an English translation that wasn't popularly um, manifest or promulgated until the 1920s. Someone wrote an English translation. You can find that on Wikipedia. Just look up the friendly beasts. And then a new tune was set to it. So think of it. Something from the 12th century, lingering, lingering, inspired maybe other poets as well as ours um, <clears throat> to to create an image of the friendly animals welcoming the baby Jesus into their barn or shelter. And then we have that wonderful hymn. Carol, really, not a hymn. Carol, the friendly beasts. So, things for you to look up this Friday night. We're getting to Gaudaute Sunday this weekend. So there should be a little extra joy. Everything goes from purple to pink because we're getting closer, closer, closer. So there, to Christmas, of course. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining me. Please put a comment or two or three. God bless. Good night.